Okay, I'm back for part two. I've fixed my hair. Henry is not here. Let's hope he doesn't interrupt again. Um, so he's saying, we read a book called Moo Ba La La La. Why am I not liking this light? There we go. That's I'm so bright. Let me back up. Um, <clears throat> it's called Moo Ba La La La. And... It says a cow says moo, a sheep says ba, three singing pigs says la la la. Let me fix the lighting. That's better. Um, and he has mocked it and loves it. Um, he says mama, dada, he recognizes me in pictures, he recogni recognizes me in any kind of setting now, which is a huge feat. Um, I make him, I got, we went to this, so he's saying like 20 some words, um, still not verbally communicating a ton, I'm kind of whispering so he doesn't hear me talking, because if he hears me talking, he thinks I'm on the phone, or we're making a video, and it like upsets him, <clears throat> he wants to know what's going on. We went to this little consignment sale called Little Treasures, and I found a organic vegan vegetarian cookbook for kids, for lunches, and I've been making a lot of recipes out of there. And he's been eating them up. He loves them. I'm a really good soup maker. I can make a really good pot of soup. And this one soup I made was corn chowder. But it didn't turn out a little chowdery. It was more brothy, so it would be kid-friendly. And I keep pausing to think. I keep thinking I hear him. And it had potatoes, carrots, corn, and onions in it. But the onions were, like, you know, very disintegrated down. And he didn't eat a bite of the corn, but he snarfled the potatoes and the carrots. And I think there's something else in there that he ate. I can't remember, but he loves carrots. That is one of his favorite foods. Um, if I make chicken noodle soup, he'll eat all the carrots out of it. If I make the corn jar, he eats all the carrots out of it. Carrots and sweet potatoes were his favorite foods, baby foods, growing up. He loves sweet potato fries. He loves apples and blueberries, anything green, broccoli, beans. Um, he ate an entire helping of broccoli last night at dinner. He loves raisins, grapes. It is not a problem to get him to eat his fruits and vegetables. It is a problem to get him to eat meat. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's a taste thing or, if it, like I said, is his tonsils being enlarged. They want to remove them, but me being a child of having my tonsils removed, know how painful it is. And I also know um, later on in life it can lead to a lot of chest infections because that's what tonsils are there for, is to catch the infections before it reach, reaches your chest. So I have a lot of sinus infections. I have a lot of respiratory infections. Um, my husband, who has his tonsils, never gets sick. I am always sick. My immune system is terrible and I think a lot of it has to do with not having my tonsils. So Kevin was a baby that had a huge tonsils. He had his wisdom teeth taken out and they said you, you should have got your tonsils taken out a long time ago. These are huge. It's not causing any other problems. No breathing problems. For me as a young child it was causing me not to be able to breathe at night and to snore so my parents chose to get them removed. Um, <clears throat> which is fine. I uh... I have in the air about it. He's way too young for me to consider it. Um, at this point, he's only 19, 20 months old. Uh, what else is he doing? He's still not e using utensils to feed himself. Um, I'm not really advocating it either. He's taken a huge interest in the potty in the last week. He has gone and sat on the potty by himself twice, two days in a row. No, three days in a row. He did it last night too. But he doesn't want to go potty on it. He's just showing interest that he wants to sit on it. And he wants to be a big boy. And he wants to be like daddy when he goes to the bathroom. So he sits on the toilet, but yet he holds his pee. My husband does not sit on the toilet to go to the bathroom. But he knows that, Henry knows that he needs to sit on the toilet. But he also knows that, why am I not holding my pee pee? <laughs> so, that's huge. We tried potty training him six months ago when he was like 12, 13 months old, 15 months old. Um, but he didn't, wasn't ready. Now he's like really interested, which is good. I hope that continues and he gets comfortable with peeing on the potty. And so we can potty train him. I would like him to be start getting potty trained around two and be potty trained by two and a half. Um, his hair is growing like a weed. 
we have to get it cut every four weeks. It's long, it's curly, it's auburn like mine, but a little lighter as you saw in the previous video. Um, he's very tall. He's 34 inches, and that was at his 18 month appointment. I th and all of his 18 month clothes are too short. They're high waters. So and he he's wearing 2T clothing. I'm pretty sure he's about 35 inches or taller right now. Um, he supposedly weighs a little less than 28 pounds. And he made it in for another segment. Don't touch. No touch. No touch, please. No touch, please. He sees the blinking light. He's like, that's very interesting. We have set up our house in a Montessori fashion, and he loves it. He's currently playing with one of his wood toy cars. No touch. No touch, please. No touch, please. He wants to touch that button so bad he can't stand it. No touch, please. Say, oh, dada. Say dada. No touch, please. No touch. He's like, I'm going to touch it, Mom. It's a video. Yeah. So, he's a little button beauty. He's doing good. He's nice and healthy. He eats like a champ. Uh, he loves yogurt. He eats three meals a day. And multiple snacks. And now he gets to play with his cousin almost... Mul I mean, every week for sure, multiple times a week. We're going to church together on Sundays. Soon he will start Sunday school once he turns um, two, which is in February. So he may get to be introduced to the Sunday school then, but they may say wait till next s September to introduce him because they'll be in the middle of Sunday school learning lessons and stuff because he doesn't turn two till February. Um, he may or may not get a sibling in the next six months. We don't know. We're still up in the air. Um, as of today, I've stopped taking birth control, but that's not because we're trying. Um, it's a lot of reasons, but I so far don't have a headache, which is amazing. I was really nervous that I was going to get a migraine, and you never know. Tomorrow I might wake up with a migraine and say, hmm, curse it, but um, I have refills on my birth control pill. I just have chosen not to refill them or to use them at this time. Um, our life is busy. We're happy. We're so excited to watch Henry grow. He's doing so many things. He's so smart. He's figured out all the Melissa and Doug puzzles we have, and we have three of them. Um, he knows how to play hide-and-go-seek tags and... Not tags, but hide-and-go-seek puzzles. And... He's just blossoming. Um, that's all I can think of. He's sleeping through the night. He's gotten sick a few times, but I've learned not to take him to the doctor the first sign of sickness to let him, you know, kind of settle out. It's Most of the time it's virus. The last three times he's gotten sick has been a virus. Um, he just had his first case, case of croup two weeks ago. That was awful. So, um... That's his update. I can't think of anything else concerning him. I mean, his height, his weight, his eating, his sleeping. We're very happy. It's very easy having a toddler this age at nighttime and feeding-wise and taking him places-wise. Though he likes to get out of the stroller and roam on his own, which causes com conflicts. Oh, he went to his first state fair last month, and he rode a camel and a horse, which I have posted on YouTube. And you get to feed animals, and that got to go on his first roller coaster rides. They weren't roller coaster rides, but they were like fair rides, which he thought were cool. So he's just a little exploring dude. Um, that's all I can think of for now. On the next update, I will let you know and make another video. Thanks for watching.